Hello everyone, welcome back to the Zen Lounge. In this video, I'm going to be doing a follow-up on some of my research into the project Osmosis Zone, uh, ticker Osmo. Uh, I did a video on this a while ago, the fact that Grayscale has been loading up Osmosis. Grayscale has a special fund designated for proof-of-stake tokens for staking and basically generating income through staking. And 24% of this fund is actually allocated towards osmosis. So you can see that they have osmosis, soul, dot, other, part of the other, I believe, actually is Adam as well. They hold Adam. But they have a huge allocation towards osmosis. Grayscale are some of the elites. So the big dogs have been accumulating uh, osmosis. This is what the fund is actually called, the Grayscale Dynamic Income Fund. And 24% of this is allocated to osmosis. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you even more evidence that huge players are have, have access to load up on osmosis. And if you think about it, so many people uh, are familiar that I'm big into Cosmos. I do a lot of research into it. Uh, a lot of my content is based on Cosmos uh, technology. Like the technology, I think IBC is great. So they always ask me when they first want to get started, like, where do I begin? Like, there's so many Cosmos coins. Where do I get started? I usually tell people um, Osmosis is a great place to begin because you basically kind of need it. Like, the fact that Grayscale is betting on Osmosis shows that they're bullish on the entire interchain that's being created because Osmosis is basically the home, the interchain liquidity hub for all the Cosmos tokens. So um, uh, also now that the fact that these huge players are loading up, it shows it, it, it should make you even more cozy uh, looking into osmosis because now even eToro, so let me continue. So eToro has just made it available to purchase osmosis on their exchange. It's a bunch of Cosmos projects actually as well. You could see uh, Celestia, SEI, Injective, Axler, but Osmosis is available on eToro. eToro does like 1.2 billion in revenue a year. It's also connected and working with uh, some of the biggest top tier institutions, JP Morgan, etc. Um, they're also working with BlackRock. So eToro is working with BlackRock to offer retail investors access to. So eToro is huge, and now it's listed. Osmosis is listed on eToro. It's listed on the biggest exchanges, Binance, Coinbase. So it's a good place for beginners to get started with uh, Cosmos, in my opinion. And then you also have this news come out. Osmosis is actually one of the most actively developed DeFi projects uh, proof uh, via GitHub activity. The decentralized Cosmos exchange Osmosis has been listed as the most actively developed DeFi project in the last month. This just came out March 26. So Osmosis is a decentralized exchange built on Cosmos. It's surged to become the most actively developed decentralized finance project in the last month, according to data shared by crypto intelligence platform uh, Santimit. So Osmosis had seen over 169 commits on GitHub in the last 30 days. Uh, there's also, uh, it, it's up there rivaling uh, DYDX and other big projects. So you have these big institutions eyeing Osmosis now. You have so much activity, so much development happening. Uh, also, for four months straight, Osmosis. So here's the cool thing about the token is when you stake the Osmosis token, there's numerous benefits. Like the reason I said it's good for beginners because uh, when you're staking osmosis, you qualify for tons of airdrops in the ecosystem. So it's a good way to onboard and welcome yourself to cosmos because osmosis stakers get tons of airdrops. But also um, the activity has been going crazy. So four months straight, osmosis has had 1 billion in trading volume. And what's unique about this is the stakers actually, they have something that generates real yield for stakers. So the tokenomics are pretty crazy that uh, a lot of times staking rewards are just like printed out of thin air. 
in this case, uh, part of that volume, osmosis has something called uh, taker fees that absorbs uh, fees and reward stakers with real yield. So as osmosis gets bigger and more and more big exchanges or institutions use the DEX, trading volume will go up, generating more and more real, real yield, you know, making this more valuable project. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it has been going down the past month. So, um, you know, whether you buy the token or not, it is a cool project to research as you're getting involved in Cosmos because like more than likely you're going to need to end up using, uh, let's go to the actual platform, osmosis.zone. So more than likely, see it's the interchain liquidity hub. So more than likely, if you want to buy a Cosmos project, get a Cosmos NFT, anything of that nature, you're going to find yourself using osmosis. So whether you buy the token or not, uh, it's an interesting project to research as you're getting involved in the Cosmos ecosystem. Um, but like I said, if you do choose to get involved and do choose to stake after your own research, uh, it is going to qualify you for a bunch of airdrops. You're going to get generate real yield from the uh, rev from the revenue that's generated, and um, it's the most actively developed project. So it's not going away anytime soon it's just getting started it's on all the big exchanges so um i would be cozy getting involved with it knowing that you know five years from now this project's still going to be building still uh still going to be around but that's my report and analysis my personal opinion my thoughts remember this is not financial advice thank you for turning into the zen lounge please subscribe please join my telegram Get involved into the Zen Lounge community. I do have a validator up on the Juno network and Corium network, Cosmos uh, chains. So, um, yeah, everybody, have an awesome day and peace.